Hello there and welcome to another one of my videos. In this uh, demonstration we will be installing Juniper VRSX on GNS3. Basically it will be emulating a Juniper firewall. Uh, the VR, sorry, the VSRX, it, um, also known as Firefly Perimeter, it, it's a virtual firewall um, implementation of Juniper's SRX product line, uh, which are security and firewall devices basically. And as you can see, there are some prerequisites to 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 have and and have ready before before you look at this video. Obviously, uh, we will need GNS3. Uh, the version I've got is 1.2.3. You'll need Oracle's Virtual Box. Uh, you also need VMware Player. Now, the first three are are quite easily obtainable and installable. The Junos image, um, you'll need to download it from the Juniper website and you'll need to register your email address to register an account. Um, once you've signed up, you will, they, they will give you your credentials and then you can download the image. Um, the Junos image is uh, ending in an OVA extension and uh, we will go through the instructions on once you have the image, what, what you need to do next to, to get things going. Okay, so uh, now, now I'm assuming at, the, at this stage, so maybe if you pause it and, and uh, or come back to this video, but I'm assuming at this stage that you've got the Junos image that uh, downloaded from the Juniper website and you'll have in your possession the OVA file, the OVA extension. Okay, so what you need to do next is open up uh, VMware Player and uh, import the OVA file. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we'll open up VMware Player, which is I've still got it here, and then um, open Virtual Machine, and we point it to the OVA file here. As you can see, it's it's actually 232 approximately meg. So let's just open that here. As you can see, it's 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 put it in this path. This this is the path you want to look for because what what you're actually looking for once you've imported this file, this OVA file you want to uh, navigate to this directory and extract the uh, VMDK file uh, which is what you'll use in VirtualBox okay so let's go ahead and do that okay accept the agreement Okay, so what, once you've reached this stage, it would have created all the directories, and the VM key, sorry, the VMDK file will be there for you, ready. So let's go over to that path now, and uh, I've got that here. So virtual machines, here's my VMDK file right here, and I will copy that. Well, I, I'm not, I'm not going to copy. It. I'm, I'm going to use my virtual, virtual box from this, this path here, from this location. Okay, so let's create the virtual machine in Oracle uh, VirtualBox. So let's open up VirtualBox here. <clears throat> Click on new. Call it Juniper uh, Firefly VSRX. Type is going to be Linux. And version, uh, let's choose other Linux 32-bit. Choose next. We will allocate... Uh, one gig of RAM next and then we'll choose the the VMDK file that that was created when we opened the OVA file within VM player and I'm already in that path here click OK and then press create okay so it, it will apply and you'll see all the the parameters here for the different different the storage display but we, we do need to make a few uh, changes <clears throat> so we'll right click on the virtual machine and we'll click on settings so the first thing we need to change is under system uh, we need to a um, just have a look what we need to do first is enable IO a APIC uh, and we need to also give it two processors that's very important so just increase that to two, uh, and we also enable PAE NX. If you hover over that, you'll see what it does. 
Okay, um, it's all it's all basically to do with um, optimizing the the virtual machine using the the, the processor on board. Um, what else do we want to do? Uh, we want to, that's under a system. I think that that's it. So next we go to um, storage, and this is more of a confirmation. So we can see that the image that we've created. Um, audio let's move on to audio disable audio uh, let's go on to network uh, you've got a choice of four adapters here um, just for the purpose of this exercise let's do uh, one and we'll, we, we can NAT it you can choose to have it NAT bridged or um, uh, even local host so let's leave it NATed and we will what you need to go into advanced settings and change the adapter type to para virtualized network okay all right so that's that set there's nothing else that you need to set just donate make sure that's enabled uh, let's give it a serial port um, enable com1 port mode disconnected anything else that 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 is it so let's apply those settings so that's ready to go if you were to right click and, and power up or, or you just press start here with that highlighted you will see that boot up and you'll get the console um, so, so that's ready to import into GNS3 and let's let's do that now okay so I'm going to close down virtual box and uh, we need to just open up GNS3 Okay, just for the purpose of this, we'll leave it untitled. Um, and we just need to tell GNS3 that we have a new virtual machine. So, preferences, uh, virtual box. Okay, click on new. Right, if this doesn't come up, you need to um, see how it's picked up the, the virtual machine I, I've. Um, we've created earlier on uh, just cancel out for a minute if it doesn't come up you just need to go back into here uh, into the, 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 the primary menu here for virtual box and just browse to the location of VBox manager it might pop up with an error so just just it's usually in program files Oracle virtual box just click on browse and uh, browse to the VBox manage um, XE executable then you should be able to add this image so click on new uh, that's correct and there you have it that's all set up so apply that uh, and okay I'm just wondering is there anything else nope and then okay so now under security devices um, under all devices actually uh, you have a Juniper Firefly VRX uh, there, there will be some tidying up to do, so, so we want to move this into the security security devices section. Uh, but as you can see, the, the list is here. So what we can do is just drag drag this to the the screen, um, and right click and click on start. So effectively, what we want to do is just make sure this is booting up with the right. Well, it's actually booting up, and it's it's a functional device. Um, so with that gone green, we should now be able to right click con give it a console and just see it booting up and there you go that's a good sign so let's just wait for this to boot now <clears throat> and what we'll do um, we'll just make sure that the interfaces are there with the interface the network interface that we configured before in VirtualBox <clears throat> Bear in mind the standard or the default password for this for the root password. It, it, there is no password, so you can just log in, log in as root. And just wait for it to come back, and no password, straight in. So I'll do CLI. Okay, don't worry about those syslog messages. But as you can see, we've got the CLI messages. So we'll do show interfaces, terse. And as you can see, I've got my gigabit interface 
and the sub sub interface there um, and and there we have it so so from here here on in um, we can configure it beyond the scope of this video but as you can see we've got a running Juniper VRSX V SRX excuse me and obviously you can now attach switches routers uh, and whatnot create VLANs um, and everything else well thank you for watching there will be more videos on Juniper uh, uh, please check back my channel um, yeah thanks again for watching bye bye